I'm JD. Tune in to Jazz and Stuff for the future artists of a lifetime. And I'm Teresa of Being Broke Isn't Cute with your weekly financial tips. And I'm Ms. Ali with your hot spots and health and wellness tips for the week. Join us every Wednesday, 5 to 8 p.m. on THA After Party Radio. <laughs> You're on with Jazz and Stuff Radio. Who's calling? It's Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, what's up? I'm waiting on you. How you doing, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> I'm JB. You've got Alicia on, uh, and Teresa is and here I'm as Teresa. well. Teresa, I'm the one who contacted you. I've been stalking you. <laughs> okay. In a nice way. Okay. Nice way. Awesome. We we got a, a temptation song playing right now, and then when we um, that's got a couple more minutes, and then we're gonna come out and live mic go straight to you, and uh, Teresa's gonna lead that interview. Mm -hmm. And okay. um, but it's good to good to have you uh, calling into the station. Are you in California right now? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. What, what, what part of California? Uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Okay. Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> yes, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, we're going to start with like you just kind of getting us caught up on what you're doing, telling us a little bit about you and your history. Okay. Okay. And we can just start with that. Okay. Very cool. All right. I'm going to pull up. Um, we got a little one in the background, I see, huh? I can hear her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that she wants to be on the interview, too. So I think she's going to try. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's no, no, no time like the present for your debut, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. You'll be the first. Like, oh, right, right. right. Huh? All right, Mom, Teresa. Mom, I'm going to come out of this so early. Yeah. Um, all right, that is The Temptations with Lady Soul. I hope you all enjoyed that. You're on with the Jazz and Stuff radio team is Ali, JB, Teresa. We are here this Wednesday evening at THA After Party Radio Station. It is September 16th, and we are still setting you off with some beautiful jazz music. But to, right now, we've got our special guest for the evening on the air with us, Mr. Kevin Sandbloom. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing awesome, good. awesome. So um, everybody that's uh, listening in, um, Kevin's calling in from uh, the sunny old California. So um, we are graced with his presence and... and um, City of Angels, right? Yes, City of Angels, <laughs> <The> City of Angels, <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> so go ahead, Teresa. Okay. Well, thank you so much for calling in, Kevin. Really appreciate yeah. that. Um, no like problem. I said, on the phone we have Kevin Sandbloom. He's a songwriter and producer. Mm -hmm. He has worked with great, great people. He's done television. He's done some television. He's worked with Lawrence Fishburne. I am thoroughly impressed. One of my favorite actors. Um, yeah. He did uh, some. Uh, Lincoln Heights, um, yep. ABC yep. Family Series. He's done several uh, albums. He's a staple here in the Dallas area in the, some of the poetry, and I'm interested in uh, knowing how you got into that. But first, we uh -huh. want to know just a little bit about Kevin Sanborn. Ooh, Sanborn, I'm sorry, <laughs> Sanborn. You think about David? I know, <laughs> uh, we play a lot of jazz, we play a lot of jazz. Uh, oh, Kevin Sanbloom, catch us up on who he is and how did you get started in all this? Um, well, I've been playing music since uh, I was in high school and, and uh, I've just been playing music my whole life. I was in a lot of bands in Southern California when I was younger. Mm -hmm. um, I eventually was uh, assigned to Virgin Records. Um, this was a while ago, about 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> the, the record deal, you know, kind of fell through after a while and a lot of shakeup was going on in the music industry at the time. Well, were you doing the same style of music then as you're doing now? I, I was. Okay. Um, but it's evolved. You know, I, I, what happened was I decided to just 
kind of just do an independent thing mm -hmm. and um, figure out how to get my music out there, you know, on my own um, without anybody's help. And, you know, the advent of the internet has helped with that quite a bit. Yeah. Um, that was actually around the time when, you know, the internet was kind of in the, you know, back in the early, early days. Um, you know, CD Baby had just started up and, mm -hmm. you know, there were lots of the, uh, avenues online in order to get your music out there. And so, you know, I just started producing my own music and, and putting it out online and, and, um, and uh, I eventually ended up stumbling into some poetry uh, shows out here in L.A. Okay. And that's, that's how I started, you know, touring, mm -hmm. traveling, uh, you know, people who ran the show started asking me to come feature um, from all across the country. And so, you know, I started doing that and just been building ever since. So, you know, that's basically, basically uh, a synopsis of what I do. Um, okay. I mean, basically, I do like, you know, like that jazz blues, soul kind of sound music. Um, well, and you so gotta... I think it fits in that, in that poetry, you know, genre. You know, poetry fits with it. Well. You've got a lot of influences uh, in your bio. It says B.B. Uh, King, Stevie Wonder, The Beatles, Steely Dan, Prince, yeah. Sade. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who else inspires you? What, what else are you, what else makes your music you? Well, actually, I do a lot, a lot, a lot of reading, um, and I think that that has to the lyrical content. Mm -hmm. um, I think another reason why my music plays so well in the poetry crowd is that, you know, it's lyrically, I think, on another level than you would find in, in pop music, you know? Definitely. So, <laughs> and that, that's important to me, you know? So, yeah. Um, I, I'm inspired by a lot of writers, uh, you know, um, so that, you know, um, that's also a big part of my music. So, who are some of your favorite musicians right now? Right, well, I like D'Angelo a lot, for sure. No, um, well, I mean, not not just some someone that that you really admire right now in the music business. Well, no, I I actually really admire D'Angelo. Like, he's been around for quite a while. You know, yes. Okay. Um, he he's a great musician, great singer. He's you know really. He's um, touring he's now, too, isn't I mean, he? There's a lot of people that... I, uh, another guy from L.A. that is really doing a lot of stuff right now is Thundercat. Mm -hmm. He's a bass player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, he is with the same record label as uh, Flying Lotus and um, Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Um, they're all part of the Brain, Brain Feeder la label, which is uh, they sell in L.A. So... Oh. Um, I really, you know, all the artists that are on that label, I really admire a lot. Uh, Kamasi Washington is on that label, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, you know, so that, those are those are some of the artists that are that are inspiring you right now. <laughs> um, but, but I have a lot of I have a lot of. Mm -hmm. sure. Well, what do you think your music says about you, as opposed to what I guess I, I, you don't do a lot of pop. I've been to a couple of your. Uh, shows you don't do pop at all which i appreciate very much but what message do yeah. you want your music to say well i mean I, i'm i'm hoping that it's just an extension of, of me <laughs> my daughter is playing the loudest foot possible <laughs> of course so uh i mean you know i would i would uh <clears throat> i hope that it reflects you know uh, it's an extension of me and it reflects like my personality and, and, uh, you know, I've always tried to communicate with my music things that I, I normally wouldn't be able to communicate, you know, I guess, right. uh, to a lot of people, you know, I mean, that, and that's, I think what everybody looks for, you know, when they're, when they're doing art, writing poetry or whatever, you know, they're trying to express, you know, the things that they can't express on an everyday level. Mm -hmm. um, I try to do that <laughs> with my music, um, and I and I you know I think for the most part I'm fairly successful at that. But, but you know, right? I, I I hope that that's what people get from me is that they you know they get a sense of who I am as a person, and, um, you know beyond. Maybe my technical ability. Okay. <laughs> are, are you doing any? I'm 
two and a half too. Okay. okay. You got it ten, ten a little bitty. <laughs> she has she has very hard in love to <laughs> are, are you doing anything right now in LA uh, while you there uh, performing? Yes, actually I'm doing um, quite a few things. I'm performing at a a local space called Vibration. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. We're going to do this on the ground. Well, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, performing at a space called Vibration this Thursday, and I am doing a traveling artist workshop there mm-hmm. on the 27th of September. Um, so that's also at the same space. And um, I'm also starting an online uh basically an online show every night on YouTube. Oh, I YouTube. saw that, I saw that. Yeah, this is actually a big production for me, but uh, the first one is gonna air tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, so I guess that'd be 10, 10 o'clock your time. Okay, how um, do people find you? And I'm planning on doing it, planning on doing it nightly, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Um, okay. Pacific time, so it's on, my website is redlamamusic.com. Um, so if you just go there, you can find out how to walk it. Okay. Okay. How did, I, I was curious, how did you come up with Red Llama? Um, well, it was actually, it's a character, it's, it's a character from a Rudyard Kipling book, and it was an accidental, I had to pick three names when I signed up for my ASCAP membership. I had, they give you three options if you don't get your first option. And it was one of my one of my options, but I didn't give it my first option, so it was like second or third option. But um, it's based on a character from the uh, Black Eagle thing, but uh, Okay, you said you've been in the industry for a while, and you started when you were really young. Um, what kind of advice do you have for other, you know, budding musicians? Maybe things that you wish you had done, or maybe you had done better. I just say, you know, you, and it's kind of what I tell people asking me to give them car lessons or give them, you know, music lessons. And you know, the thing I tell them to do is do it every day. You know, mm-hmm. every day. You know, no matter what you're doing, <laughs> you know, like, right. you, can be, you can be not playing your instrument correctly. You did not have shoe music. You did not know. You, you know, you might be doing the wrong thing, but as long as you're doing it, you get yourself into a place where you're doing the right thing. And so it's really about, you know, focus and drive and, and, and passion. So you just say be passionate right. <laughs> about your art. Are there some things that you want to do with your music that you haven't done yet? Maybe some things you want to try? Sure. Or? Yeah, there's, there's lots of things. I, um, I've done a little bit of uh, film scoring, and I would like to do more of that. You know, maybe on a bigger scale. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not necessarily a pop artist, but you know, I would appreciate if one of my songs, you know, maybe became something more of like a, a worldwide hit or a, you know, right. a national hit. I'm kind of known as you know, in the underground scene, everybody knows who I am. Mm-hmm. But you know, I would mind a little mainstream, mainstream. Right. Uh, you know, that'd be okay with me. <laughs> <laughs> a little notoriety wouldn't mind. You wouldn't mind that. Do you, do you also do poetry? I know you're in the poetry scene a lot. Do you also do poetry yourself, or is, is it just a little bit? Not not a whole lot, but I, I, you know, there's some poetry in some of my songs. Um, I have some poetry sections, and I. Um, I do write, I've done a couple of one man shows. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I've written some poetry slash monologue kind of pieces for the show. Oh. Um, so I do, you know, I do, do write poetry. It's not, you know, it's not something that I do all the time. I'm mostly a musician, but um, I am inspired to write some poetry as well. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Okay. My, my wife is actually a poet. Oh, wow. Um, does she feature any uh, of her work? Or do, do, Does she do any of her work at poetry sessions or anything like that? Oh, yeah. She, well, she's actually, she was the uh, L.A. Slime champion a few oh. years ago, um, 2010. So she's, uh, you know, she's an accomplished slam poet, and, and she's uh, been on all the Southern California slime teams, and she's uh, an excellent writer. She's, She's an incredible writer. 
Um, and she just put out a chat book. So, oh, she, you know, she's got the poetry <laughs> uh, portion of the family, you know, taking care of. So, um, I, I like writing poetry, but she does a way better job than I do. So do. Do you guys kind of tag team where she does a little bit of the poetry and you play a little, you know, the, the music behind her? We, we have uh, a few times. Um, we are, have been talking about doing a project together. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't really formed since, but actually our, on our honeymoon, we ended up doing like a little tour together. Aww. Um, we um, did part of our honeymoon in, in Northern California. She had a slam competition together, so I want to prefer her to do that. And then we spent the week kind of touring through the Bay Area doing some shows together. And, um, that was really fun, and we, we actually just did a show together for uh, last month. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's difficult. We, we, both, we have, you know, completely different schedules, and I'm always on the road touring, so it's hard for us to do stuff together. But um, we're trying to do more of that in the future. So, Kevin, when can we expect you back in Dallas? Yes. Actually, really soon. Uh, I'm going to be there at Flow. Um, at the next flow on October 11th. That's right. Okay. Um, and I should be in the area doing a few other things. I'm not, I don't have anything um, definite locked down right now, but I'm, I'm for sure going to be at that show. Excellent. Great. So tell us again how our listeners can catch up with you, where they can get your music. I've got a couple of your CDs sitting in front of me that I got from the Wine Over Words event that you were at. It was a while back, but I've yeah. got the Viva yeah. Los Angeles and um, From a Bird, which I, I thoroughly yeah. enjoy. Thank you. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. So how, how can folks, what's the easiest way for them to, to find all your work and, you know, purchase your CDs and all that? Well, pretty much everything is at kevinsambloom.com. Okay. Um, or at redlamamusic.com. Lama is like two L's, L A M A. But both of those websites basically take you to the same, the same site, either of those URLs. Um, or you can just Google Kevin Sandbloom, you'll probably find me. Um, and everything, uh, you can find everything there, you know, how to find music. Okay. Uh, YouTube channels, uh, the, the show, so the next show is on there. Um, the merchandise. I actually, I actually have some t-shirts. I need to, I, I need to update my website because I have a bunch of different t-shirts available, but I only have one available right now on the site, so <clears throat> that'll be up there in the next couple of days. Well, awesome. Kevin, we really appreciate you coming Definitely. on. I've, I've got a little bit of uh, It's a Crime playing in the background. We're, we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to pull that and, and play that on the air um, as, uh, you know, our tribute to you for calling in this evening. Thank you so much. Uh, and so all of our listeners, you have all of that um, information. And, and I think we, Teresa, you know, you put the links on, on yes. Facebook too, yeah, so everyone can find, okay, okay, perfect. So again, thank you so much for calling in this evening, and thank the little one for joining us as yes. well. <laughs> thank you, we appreciate her, she's a budding star, I, I can tell, already. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome, thanks so much, have a fabulous evening. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, we are going to go into a little It's a Crime by Song Kevin. Alive. Yes, by Kevin Sandbloom. So take a listen. This may come. This may come as some surprise. But I miss you.
All right, that is Kevin Sandblum. That is live. Oh, He's performing. Is it is, it is a crime. Wonderful music. Um, it I says like at it. Slam Nuba. Not quite sure where he is at, but um, that was uh, our guest that we just had on, Mr. Kevin Sandblum, who is in the balmy, well, it may not be balmy, but uh, sunny California, LA, LA. area. And yes. he graces our presence here in Dallas quite often. Yes. Um, and just to, to reiterate where you all can find him, Go to Red Llama. That's Llama with two L's. Llamamusic.com. Or find him on Facebook at, is it Kevin Sandbloom or Sandbloom? Kevin Sandbloom. Okay. Uh, on Facebook or any of his other social media mm -hmm. sites. Um, you can definitely find him there. So uh, that was uh, some great information. He's got some great music. I've got a couple of his CDs, and and uh, you know he's an original performer. He's a yes. songwriter. He does, of course, you know, he um, does some renditions of some of our mm -hmm. other artists and things like that. But most of his music is original, and um, you know he's got some great works of art out there. So mm -hmm. I just definitely encourage. Songs, he does it so well. I, so I encourage well. y'all to check him out uh, whenever you get a chance. Support him, people. He's going to be yeah. in Dallas. What? Yes, October, 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 October 11th. 11th. October 11th. October 11th. The, What's the name of the event again? It's Flow. Flow. Flow over the. Flow. Is that um, Tanyella Arful? Masterpieces Masterpiece. event? Okay. Masterpieces event. All right. So October 11th, stay tuned for Mr. Kevin Sandbloom will be at that event. And then he's, he indicated he may be here prior to that as well. So Seeing him live it's sound like, it's sound like folk music. No. It it's a like, little bit of everything. Yeah. It's, he's got a nice kind of flavor. Yeah. 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 It's, it's really different. You can it's enjoy it. You can, you can yes. tell he doesn't sound like everyone else. That's right. right. So he, it, it's kind of nice. He's so. going to give you something you like. Yeah. Uh, he's going to hit you somewhere. He's going to hit you where it hurts.